guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me with another video and I hope you guys will like this video. For those watching my video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. You're welcome to the channel. We are one family aquaba. guys today I'm here to tell you a little bit about my story when I went to Ghana so it's something that happened while I was in Ghana first time when I got to Ghana in 2013 I realized that most of Ghanaian women they wear their natural hair and I was really impressed how their hair looks like uh, very healthy, softy, full, and most of the time I was asking all, almost this lady that I was meeting on the street, even sometimes on trip troll and other stuff. So. <laughs> and I was asking them, what do you use in your hair? Most of them they were saying, you share about it. I was impressed how my Ghanaian sister, they were valued their natural hair, they were so happy. Uh, they weren't even using, I mean, some of them use chemical, but majority of them weren't use chemical on their hairs. So I became natural. I cut my, I, I'm gonna show you a picture in everything that I did. I cut my chemical hair and I became natural. I created my own brand of products when I became natural. You know, when I opened my blog on Facebook, I was doing so many research about natural hair, for especially for black women. I was doing so many research about natural hair and I remember there was a day that I, I didn't have living in my house and I said, okay, I'm gonna create something. Let me join the shea butter, let me join oil, let me join some few things. Let me see if it's gonna work. So I did that and it was working. My hair was growing. I'm telling you, my hair was growing. I started using shea butter on my hair. Morning, like Monday to Friday. <laughs> because I, I really wanted my hair to grow. In 2017 was my birthday around September 29 and my mother decided to send me $300 to celebrate my birthday with my friends to like organize dinner do you know what i did with the money <laughs> i create my own brand of products guys yes i create my own brand of products in ghana and i was selling my product while i was in ghana I was sending to angola i was sending to france i was sending to india so many people were using my product it was really working and i was so glad and i was so happy oh, i'm gonna show you for you to see that i'm not playing with you I use my money, my birthday money for my party to create my own brand of products. I'm gonna show you. Wait a minute. Guys, this is my brand of products from natural hair made with shea butter. In Portuguese, it's my Tega de Carité, okay? I have here the mascara, okay? And I have here the leave-in, the comb cream that help your hair to grow and make your hair a little bit soft to comb. And this is the oil, okay? You can see, guys, this is my brand of product, guys. I create this brand of product while I was in Ghana. And I still selling, and I'm still using this brand of product, my own brand. Everything, the bottle, everything was made in Ghana. Everything. So my brand of product called F Yeza. F from Cinderella and Yeza for my surname. So F Yeza natural. My African sister, you need to try shea butter. You know, I realized that when I start using shea butter, when I start selling my cream, so many Af black girls from Brazil were looking for me to send them, you know, to to start send them shea butter because they use on the hair, they used to cook like in Ghana. When I was in Ghana, I was using shea butter on my skin, okay? Yeah, sometimes I use on my skin, I use on my lips, I use on my face to take acne and pimples on my face to real work. You're gonna hear so many times of me talking about Ghana because Ghana built me up. Ghana taught me how to become creative, you know. Ghana made me to become a business woman. 
My first business, I started in Ghana when I was starting selling my products, when I was starting selling the jelly scarf, when I started gel selling the head drop scarf, the African wear, is all in Ghana. When I was in Angola, I didn't have this mindset of business. I'm telling you, I didn't have this mindset. One thing about Ghana, they are very creative. They like to create. Ghanaian, they are good and they are very creative. They like to create. So, and I really thank God and I'm not going to give up. I'm still with my business. Guys, <laughs> so many people have been asking me if I repent of going to Ghana. <laughs> no, no, no. I will never say yes. Never, 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 never. I will say yes that I repent of going to Ghana. I feel blessed that I went to Ghana. I really feel blessed that I went to Ghana. Ghana built me up. I became a businesswoman, YouTuber. While I was in Ghana, I became a blogger at Ghana. Of course, Ghana was my amazing experience in this life. Sorry, my brother. I will never tell that Ghana was a wrong choice. Thank God. Ghana wasn't a wrong choice. Ghana, you know, I became more responsible in Ghana and uh, I started to see how the life is. You know, when you live with your parents in your house, you don't have so much, so many things to worry about. You know that your father is there, your mother is there, she's gonna provide everything that you want, you know. While you're far away from your home, you know that no, my father is not wrong, my mom is not wrong, no, here I need to become responsible. For myself i want to just tell you we need to value our hair we need to accept ourselves the way we are we need to love our natural hair you know i know that it's not really easy to take care of our natural hair i'm telling you it's more easily for you to take care about your chemical hair okay than natural hair the natural hair has a lot of work i'm telling you and you spend a lot i'm telling you, you spend a lot with natural hair but we need to accept ourselves we are beautiful we are beautiful whatever we are we are beautiful with natural hair we are beautiful without makeup we are beautiful we need to accept you are beautiful you're the one watching this video you are beautiful your hair is beautiful your african print is beautiful okay your culture is beautiful you don't need to be shy of your sh the shade of your skin you need to be proud okay african ladies we are proud proud of ourselves we need to recognize that we are beautiful the way we are the way god made you the way god made me i feel beautiful if you try to come to me and try to put me down low i won't mind you let us be black people not only in the blood okay let us be black in everything okay so thank you so much